it's really not a holiday. It's a day of remembrance of those who have come before us, uh, who gave their last full measure of devotion to our democracy. It is so important that we come together in a place of learning, Wheaton North High School, with so many bright, talented, energetic, young men and women who uh, understand that uh, part of your duty on the home front is to take good care of those who have borne the battle. And I think it's so meaningful that we have our service members, our veterans who have served our country and defended our democracy uh, in previous conflicts that are gathered here today. And we thank them for their uh, service. They've had, I think, all of us uh, at heart in serving us in, in wars that are very, very difficult wars. There's no war that's easy. My father served in World War II in the United States Navy for three years, one month, and 15 days. He lived to 93. He passed away a couple years ago, and his only public service, the only time he was in public life, was in the military in World War II. And I think it is so important that all of our veterans who have come back from their service uh, in the military uh, be treated properly by all of us on the home front. And that means making sure we have good education for our veterans, that we have decent health care, and we have good jobs. And I also want to honor the life, the special life, of Staff Sergeant Robert Miller, who went to this very school. And we thank his parents, Phil and Maureen, from Wheaton, Illinois. He went to St. Michael's before he came to Wheaton North uh, for their special values. And I want to say to Phil and Maureen Miller that you did not bungle raising your children. Uh, their wonderful son, Robert, Rob, uh, answered the call to duty, volunteered. We have an all-volunteer military. He volunteered. Uh, it was a Green Beret, a Special Forces. I was deployed to Afghanistan where he lost his life, saving other lives. He was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor by President Obama very recently. I talked to the President about this very matter the day after he awarded the medal to the parents of Robert Miller, who gave his life for all of us. And he was so moved, our President, by that ceremony. It's a special ceremony. The Congressional Medal of Honor is the highest uh, award that any person can receive in our country. And it's important to understand that Rob went to school here. He had teachers that I'm sure are still here. He had coaches that are still here. He practiced over and over again in gymnastics well after the practice time had elapsed because he had that special devotion to excellence. And I think that his life, a rather short life, but a purposeful life, God did not give him a long chronological life, but he gave Robert Miller a very purposeful life. And we should never forget those heroic men and women, all American heroes, who have given their lives for our country in previous conflicts as well as in the current conflicts. They are men and women who shall not be forgotten. And it is our duty, the living, to remember Abraham Lincoln's words at Gettysburg that we must make sure they did not die in vain. And one of the very best ways we can make sure that never happens, they did not die in vain, that we learn about their lives and learn about how important it is to democracy to have citizens who come forward and volunteer for very difficult but important missions. Uh, there is a passage in the Old Testament from Isaiah, the prophet, who talks about righteous oaks. There are some people who are righteous oaks. Robert Miller, Staff Sergeant Miller, was a righteous oak. And he understood the importance of volunteerism that Isaiah talks about. He says, here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I heard you calling in the night. I will go if you lead me, and I will hold your people in my arms. Robert Miller held all of us in his arms, and other service members from Illinois, nearly 300, who have given their lives for our country since 9-11 alone, they've held us in their arms, and many, many more across our nation. So it is important that on this day and every day, we shall not ever forget their sacrifice.